So the first topic is enabling online testing for a teacher test. First off, if you are, you've already located your test, you're going to click on the online tab. If your assessment has interactive items, it is already defaulted to online testing. Enabling the calculator. First, you click on online. Then you enable your calculator and you choose which calculator you want your students to use. If it's a scientific or a graphing, you may select those or basic. If this test does not require calculators for all students, then turn it off so that students with that modification will get the cal calculator you chose and everybody else will not. If this is an algebra test, for example, you want to turn on that calculator and choose graphing calculator and then leave it on so that every student gets a graphing calculator. Again, turn it off for students with IEPs only. Leave it on for all students. Next, enabling spelling assistance. First, you're going to locate your test. You're going to click on the online tab. You're going to scroll down and toggle on enable spelling assistance. This will allow all students to use the spelling assistance tool. If you turn it off, only the students with this right assigned to them at testing will receive the spelling assistance. Enabling scratch pad drawing. You've located your test. You're going to click on the online tab. Scroll down to enable scratch pad drawing. This will allow students to put an overlay above the problem and draw on it and come back to it at any time. STAR provides this feature. It's called Graph Draw for math, science, and social studies. Turn it off. You just click Enable to turn it off. Online tab continued, enabling confidence rating. For this, again, you're going to locate the assessment, click on the online tab, scroll down, and select Enable Confidence Rating. This rating will allow students to choose between got it, almost there, and still learning. They can, you can use this tool however you want, but you need to train your students to make that choice after they answer the question. So they'll answer the question, they'll click the little smiley face at the bottom, and they'll choose their rating. Whether it be they got it, they're almost there, or they're still learning, so that when you go over the data, you can, they can have a conversation about, was this something I knew, or was I just guessing? So again, enable confidence rating on the online tab. To turn it off, you just click the button to turn it off. Enabling students to view submitted responses. After a student takes a test, they, you may want to go over that test or let them view their scores. So we're going to go to the online tab. We're going to scroll down. And we're going to enable students to view the responses. You can turn this on at any time. You can leave it off until they take the test. And then when you're ready to go over it, after you've graded all the short constructed response questions, you can turn it on and then be sure that you set the dates. The date's when you want them to see it. And the end date is when you want it to disappear from their My Score tab. So now when the students log in after October 3rd, they'll go to My Scores and they'll see the responses, how they scored, and what the responses were. To turn it off, you just click the Off button. Enabling Question Randomization. After you've located your test, click the Online tab, scroll down, and Enable Question Randomization. This will give every student their own order of questions. This is not recommended for tests with paired passages because it will switch back and forth between the two passages. 
but for a normal reading test with one passage and questions that go with that passage, it's fine. To learn more, you click right here and that'll take you to the help file that gives you more information on that. To turn it off, click the off button. Enabling the lockdown browser. This again is on the online tab. Scroll down and click the enable lockdown browser. This feature does not work on district VDI computers or iPads. The recommended lockdown browser feature offered on Chromebooks provides optimal experience. You won't even need to turn this on, but if you turn it on, and they go to the test in the web browser, it won't let them log on. They'll have to back out and go through the lockdown browser. You could also turn on the feature that where they have to submit the test before they can leave it. So in other words, they can't go in the lockdown browser, work on the test a while, then exit the lockdown browser without you knowing and go in the Chromebook and look something up. So if you click this on, that will force them to submit it before they leave the browser. Be careful, because if you decide that you want to let them continue, you're going to have to go in and restart the assessment. To turn it off, you just click the button again. We're going to talk about text-to-speech. Click the online tab, scroll down. It does not translate the test. It just changes the controls from English to Spanish, and if you choose Spanish, everything will be pronounced with a Spanish, Spanish accent. It will not translate the test. So you click on the online tab, scroll down, click the drop down option, and select the language of the assessment. I would do this for every test. That way the student can't play with it. If the assessment's English, select English. If the assessment's written in Spanish, select Spanish. This is not offering any accommodations for those students who don't have text-to-speech. It just sets the language of the controls. And if they have text-to-speech, it allows them to, to hear it in the right pronunciation. To turn it off or to let them choose, choose student chooses a language spoken. Once again, I recommend that you choose what language the test is in. Enable the dictionary for all students. This is used mostly for RLA assessments only. You click the online tab, you scroll down, you select dictionary, and you choose either the English or Spanish dictionary. Note, if the assessment is in English, select English. If the assessment is in Spanish, select Spanish. Again, RLA test. To turn it off, put no dictionary enabled.